Welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. Today we're going to be recreating a old vintage comic book. So grab your iPad and let's get started. So I have the sketch that I'm going to be using today. It is an old Casper the Ghost uh, comic book. Now, if you are from the younger generation, you probably remember Casper only from the movies themselves, but uh, there was a comic book a long time ago, and this was probably in the 50s, 1950s, 1960s, uh, sometime around that time frame, and when comic books were 12 cents each. Uh, that was before my time, but there you go. I have provided a color palette, this sketch, and a paper texture uh, over on my Patreon. If you are interested in getting that, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, it supports the channel. You get four videos, downloads from the regular YouTube channel, and you also get a premium video that is only for Patreons only. So go check that out if you're interested. It also helps support the channel, and I appreciate it very much. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I think what we're going to do is probably do our inking first. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a black. And also I'm going to be using the Chamel brush pack for most of the things that we're going to be doing in here. Uh, we might use some of the brushes that come with Procreate. I'm not sure yet. But if you're interested in the brush pack, that's also over on Patreon. And that's in the Patreon store. You can go pick that up. Uh, it is very, very cheap compared to all other brush packs. So go check that out and you'll get all my favorite brushes in there, including the very popular fur shading brush and the fur brush. All right, so let's do this. I think I am going to start off with inking Casper himself, and I'm going to use the Chamel Inker Streamliner. So here, uh, let me do this head first. Now, I want a thin to thick line here, as in comic style. So I'm going to start off here probably and barely push so we'll get this really thin line and then as we go over here I'm gonna get thicker a little bit thicker <clears throat> so let's see how this works out and I will be holding my pen down to get some nice curves maybe that became too thick too soon All right, and then we can edit this. I do this often to try to get the perfect. I'm gonna try to match my sketch as much as possible here. Uh, okay, so it's coming off right there. So what I'm gonna do is say okay for that, but I'm gonna erase up to there. Maybe a little bit more. All right, and that's how I get these really good lines. All right, let's see if we can get this next section here. Yeah, I think that's good. Although the widths didn't match up right here, so what I usually do is take my eraser tool and kind of fix that. Oops, that didn't work good. Let me go smaller on the eraser here. Here we go. I think that's good. All right, so let's uh, continue this curve here. Let me see. Maybe up here. Hold my pin down. All right, I need to fix that little thing. Okay, now let's get this part here. That's good. All right, let me see if I can get this one a little bit thick. I've got my pin at 9% if you guys want to know. All right, and then down here we want this thin that's not thin there we go I don't think that's good okay so we got the head done let's go ahead and do this arm right here and 
this part here is going to be thin and then it's going to get thicker and then remain that just like that okay and the fingers here are pretty much going to be all the same width And this arm too. It's all going to pretty much be the same. You know what? I'm thinking I'm going to take my brush down a little bit more. So maybe 6%. Yeah, that's better. Sometimes you got to kind of experiment with it to find that perfect size for you. All right, that's the arm done right there. Okay, so this line here is going to be thin, and it's going to get thicker as we go down. And then after we get thick, we're probably going to just kind of keep that as much as possible. Okay, so like that. Actually, let me take this. I'm going to take my sketch down. I've got it locked so I don't accidentally drill on it, but I guess when it's locked, they won't even let you change the opacity. So I need to unlock it and then take that opacity down that blue line. There we go. And I'm going to lock it again. Slide it to the left, hit lock, and now we can't accidentally choose it. All right, and now this is just going to try to keep that same. All right, let's get on the right layer. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right, so we got that leg in. Uh, this part right here, usually when a line starts, it's going to start off thin, and then it's going to get thicker as it goes on. So doing that same thing here. Okay, so thin to thick. All right, and this is pretty much going to be the same thickness until it reaches right there. So I'm going to try to continue this one. Yep, worked out good. All right, and then this one right here is starting. It's going to be thin. It's going to get fatter, and then it's going to end up thin right there. So I'm going to pull it towards me. That's easier. That's not thin. There we go. So thin to thick to thin. Okay, this one is not starting by itself. It's touching two lines on both sides. So it's just going to be the same thickness all the way through. And sometimes it might be a little bit difficult to do that because when you start off it automatically, it automatically will start off thin. So you can like go over it a little bit. So then it doesn't get that little thin line there on the bottom. And then what we can do, and we can just erase it, the part that overlapped. So just another little trick, things that I found just a drawing with Procreate in general. All right, very good. Let's see we, the arm here. So we got a beginning line here. So this is going to be thin and it's going to get thick and it's going to end up thin right there. And again, I'm going to pull it towards me because I find that easier. All right, so we got thin, thick, thin. And actually, another trick you can do is if you didn't get that as thin as you want it to, just get your eraser tool here and just shave that edge off right there. And now you got it. Well, that's another trick. Okay, now we're gonna have a lot of thick to thins here. Of course, this one's touching two lines, so it's going to be pretty much the same. That's too thick. And I'm going to hold my pen down to get that good curve. And now this is going to be thin. Okay. 
like that. And then same thing here. Okay. All right, and this is all going to be the same kind of thickness. This is all pretty much the same. But this will be thin. So I'm going to start, pull it towards me. Fix that. And then this one's going to be touching two lines, so it's going to be just regular. No thick, no thin, just the regular size. All right, so we've got our little Casper outline in. Let's do his eyes now. And his eyes are going to be thicker on top here, and they're going to be thinner down here on the bottom. So, and I'm going to hold my pen down just like that. I like it. So it ended up thin and then thicker up there. And then the pupil here. And we can probably go ahead and fill that in. That'll be a part of our outline. Okay, and then this eye is going to be the same thing. Basically, it's going to be thick up here and it's going to be thin down here. Hold my pen down. And then let's do this pupil here. And then we'll fill that in. There we go. We got his eyes in. All right, let's do a little pug nose here. So thin, thin, thick in the middle. Just like that. And then same thing here, thin to thick. Just like that. Okay, his little mouth here. Fill that in, and then we got some eyebrows up here, and the thicker part's going to be here on this, just like a real eyebrow would be. So I'm going to turn it this way so I can pull it towards me again. So we need to do thin to thick here, just like that. All right, and then this one right here is same thing basically, like that. And then these over here. Okay. I think Casper's done. All right. I like it. It looks good. Okay. So let's do, let's do the paddle next. All right. And the paddle is basically going to be the same width all the way through. If I can do this in one go. I don't like it. So the curve is kind of shaky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this curve first. And hold my pen down so we can get that really nice curve. And then we'll try to do this part next. Yeah, that's much better. Here we go. And then we might can fix this little parts here where it looks like it's wider so I know this is kind of I'm very attention to detail oriented so sorry about that okay um, all right so we got the little staple here let's do just a little shape like that and then we're gonna do the string so the string yeah Maybe thick here and then the same. This one, it really don't matter on this part. This part I'm going to hold my pen down and make sure I got a nice straight line. Okay, and then we'll fix this here. There we go. And then it's going to come out of his body here and it's going to go down to the ball here. So. Go. I think that looks good. 
Okay, let's do the ball. Of course, I'm going to hold my pin down. Touch it with my finger to make that perfect circle. And then we got the ball. And let me see, I can edit this a little bit. There we go. Match my sketch. Okay, uh, let's see. What else can we do? Let's do the lettering next. So I'm going to use the type tool for the part up here. Uh, the Casper there, the Harvey Comics there, and then by the code of authority up there. We're going to do all that with the type tool. Look for me on TV. But the this font here is special. Uh, so we're going to have to draw this one, unfortunately. All right, and I'm going to use the Chamel Mono Streamliner for this, um, except for these parts here. The parts that need a sharp edge right there, we're going to go back to the uh, Streamliner for that one, the inker. So, but for this part here, we're going to use the 10% is that okay hmm I think it's fine so I'm gonna leave it on 10% and then we're gonna do these curves here we're gonna hold our pin down to get that I don't think that worked maybe it did yeah it did okay I'm gonna try to hold the pin down to get these nice curves all right yeah I don't like it really let me take it off and try it again here we go that's better all right and it's gonna be a straight line to there here we go Yep. All right. And then for this thinner parts, we're going to go back to the inker brush because we're going to need some thin. And I want to match this thickness here. There we go. And then this part here. Fix this. There we go. All right. So that ended up good. This is kind of funny looking here. So I can fix that. And maybe erase. Yep. That's good. Okay, let's go back to our mono stream. And then let's do this. All right. And then this is a straight line right there. Okay, and then the curve starts about right there, so we're going to try to do this with a straight line. All right, and then let's see if we can get this. Yep, all right, now maybe this curve here too. Edit it, move it over a little bit. Nope. There we go. Okay, and then go back to the inker brush. And then again, I'm going to try to match that thickness right there. Okay, and then let's do, I think we can do this with the mono brush. All right, so you've seen me do a couple of these. I'm probably going to speed the rest of these letters up.
guys, we're back. I've got all of the Casper lettering done. All right, and now let me see. Is there any other black parts? Yeah, we're going to do this outline of this authentication stamp. I'm just going to wiggle it. Make it look like a stamp. I used to do this to make sure that the comic you were buying was authentic. So I don't know if they were having a problem with counterfeit comics back then. I'm not sure. All right. And I think we can probably type this other stuff in. But this A here, we're going to have to, we're going to have to draw it in. So looks like an A with arms flexing. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so let's do this little character here. He's going to have to be in black, or have a black outline anyways. And we, I think I'm going to, I'm going to use the Inker Strandminer because it's got like a lot of thin to thick lines on it. So for the jack part here, this don't really matter, but... So this kind of ruffle thing here. And we're zooming in really close here and you can see it's very pixelated. But when we zoom out, you won't be able to see that. All right, got the ruffle in, and maybe this last colored line here. Okay, let's do the arms. All right, and then we got like a little Mickey Mouse style glove on. So we don't need this re real detailed or anything because it is really small. Yep, that's good. Okay, let's do his head. Okay, and his hat. Okay, and
All right. I think that's good. All right. Let's go ahead and do this square shape. It's kind of a rounded square. And this is going to be all black, so your outline doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's going to be filled in with black. Alright, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. Okay, and then this other square here. It's going to be black also. You know what? Before we do that, we might need to do Casper first, I think. So, that's good. All right, so let's uh, outline Casper here. And again, this is not going to matter much. The outline anyway, because all this other outside part is going to be in black. And also, this is really small. So we're going to try to speed through this as much as possible. Okay. And let's do mouth. There we go. So yeah, it's really, really small. And I have a font to take care of that Casper there. Uh, I think everything else we can probably do with the type tool. Let's go ahead and fill in that right there. And I think that's it. I think our inking is done. All right. Okay, so, all right, let's see. Uh, we want to start a new layer under everything and let's drop in the background color and if you look at your color palettes I did this pinkish color here so we're going to use that we're going to have to fix that pink color later on I'm going to show you what I mean by that all right uh, let's do let's drop in actually we're going to make a new layer Let's set our black lines to reference, and then we're going to do the layer under that. It's going to drop in our colors. So the white is this dirty white down here. So it's not going to be a perfect white. Because this is an old comic. And then the eyes. All right, I think that is all for that now the little Casper up here I think he is more pure white I'm gonna drop that in and make sure we get his eyes here there we go you see a little pink right there Let me tap it all right I don't I think that's good yeah okay and our paddle thing here is gonna be uh, this yellow color here and the ball is also going to be a yellow color all right and this little you know i didn't leave a color for this but let's just make it gray it don't really matter i didn't give you this color but i'm just going to paint this kind of a grayish color it's so small anyway all right, uh, let's see, what else? Let's do the letters. So 
So the Casper letters are also going to be go back to our palettes. Going to be that yellow color right there. So we're going to drop all these. I'm going to hit continue filling and just tap them. Get all that Casper in there. All right, let's fill in our little jack o' lantern here. Not a jack o' lantern, jack in the box. That's what they're called. Okay, and he's going to be orange and green. So I get this orange color right here is going to be that side of his hat. And then these little stripes here, they're going to alternate orange and green. And do that. And then maybe this green color right there. We can continue filling and tap that. Okay. His sleeve on this side is going to be green. And his glove on that hand is going to be green. Okay. And then turn off the color drop. This orange color is going to be the glove on this side. So he's kind of alternating both. And then this little section right there. There we go. Okay, and then this sleeve is going to be orange. There we go. And the frilly thing is going to be a white. And drop all those in wherever we have to. There we go. Okay, and then his face is going to be this peach color here. Still got color drop on. Will it work? Here we go. All right. And his eyes are going to be white in there too. So I'm going to drop in some white in his eyes. Okay. Of course, the hat on the other side is going to be this green color. All right. And then the bells on his hat. I see something missing here. Use that with a brush. I think I'm going to do the bells this yellow color. So we'll do that bell and this bell. All right. And then the inside of the mouth. I think his nose is going to be this orange color. His mouth is going to be black. Nope. Not right there. Or maybe it is right there. Yep. And then maybe use this orange color for his supposed to be a tongue I guess all right and there is our Jack done okay so we're gonna have to do this big H here in the middle of this I'm going to turn the black part off for right now and I'm gonna pick this blue color right here I'm gonna go for the mono line brush here I'm gonna do this big H I'm just going to hold the pin down so we'll get these nice straight lines. There we go. And that one. There we go. And you're just going to fill that in. Nope. So, if you leave reference on and then you have something different that you want to fill in, it's not going to use that line you just drew. So, we're going to have to turn off reference here. And then if we drag and drop it in, it'll fill it in. All right. And then let's turn the black back on. And uh, we made a mistake. So that needs to be on top of the black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the little S tool up there, selection tool. I'm going to draw a selection around this. And I'm going to copy paste it. It's going to put it on another layer by itself. Now we're going to drag that above the black layer. And now when we turn it back on, there it is. All right. Okay, I think that is all the coloring that we need to do. Let's actually, these little lines right here, uh, little speed lines, we're going to do these in a very light yellow color. So I'm going to choose the yellow. Then I'm going to go to my classic right here and I'm just gonna really lighten that and desaturate it kind of like that and it really don't matter what brush I think I'm gonna use the inker streamliner and I'm just gonna put in these little motion lines and you can hold down your pen if you want perfect 
little circ little curves struggling to find the words all right and then these here are just going to be kind of kind of broken little broken mo motion lines there we go yeah I like it I think that's good okay what else do we need to do let's do Let's do the friendly ghost right here, and that is going to be this purple color right here. And the font that I use for that is, so we're going to go to the little wrench tool, we're going to add text, and we're going to type out the friendly ghost. And actually, we're going to do this all in caps. So if you double tap on your uppercase line, it'll do all caps. The friendly ghost ghost all right and I'm gonna stretch it out where it's all in one line and we're just gonna kind of put it in there and the font that I'm using for that is what is that Jack Armstrong BB so I think I don't know if that comes with procreate or not if not you can go to download it anywhere on where you get your fonts at so the friendly ghost is in purple. There we go. Let's go ahead and do look for me on TV right here. That's going to be a different font and that's going to be in black. So we're going to go back to black. We're going to go to add text again. Uh, it looks like these are all caps also. Look for me on TV. All right. And then I'm going to select all that. I always have a hard time selecting these. I don't know why. All right, and we're going to push these all the way to the left. We want them aligned to the left. All right, and we don't want this Jack Armstrong font. We want a just a basic a basic font. Let me see. We're going to make that smaller. Look for me on TV. I don't know if I like that font. I, don't, I think I, I want it a little bit thicker than that. And just kind of... Uh, yeah, I like that one. That one's called Bubble Daddy. I know that didn't come with Procreate. So we're just going to put that right up there. Look for me on TV. And we have a date down here, so we can add that in. Maybe the same font might be okay. Let's type in September. That's going to be really small. All right, and then we're going to number 88. So, in O, space, space, I don't want that period in there, space, space, 88. All right, what else? All right, the white Harvey Comics letters right here. Um, they're going to be in white, and they just look like a regular old font too. Add text. Uh, Harvey is all in caps. H A R V E Y. All right. Not sure I like this. Well, maybe it's okay. We're going to make that fit Harvey. All right. And then let's add another one for comics. All caps.
All right, and this one, we're going to do the kerning. I'm going to spread it out where it matches the same width as the other one. There we go. Harvey Comics. Look for me on TV. We got our 12 cent right here. Let's do that one. That's going to be in black. And this looks like a add text. 12. And it looks like a, just a little small C. Nope. So we're just going to use a little small C. All right. And this font is going to have to be changed. This looks like a more traditional not that one Apple SD Gothic Neo sounds good and we're going to can we make that in bold bold yeah and then maybe make it a little bit bigger 12 cents and actually if we want that little cent mark mm, let's go above it we can just add it there we go all right and now for this 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 right here by the comic code so we're going to also buy the same same font as we did with that 12 cent comic Make that a little smaller Okay. C O D E code. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. I'm just trying to make these kind of centered. Okay, and then authority. That's going to have to be smaller. A U T H O R I T Y. And then I want to make that much smaller. Authority. All right, and I think that is it. Okay, for the last step, this is where the magic happens. So we're going to load in a paper texture. And this is also part of the downloads over on Patreon. This will be included. So I'm going to go to my gallery here. And I think the paper texture that I used, I've got a separate folder here, is the Madam Mildew. All right, so I'm going to three finger swipe. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go back to my drawing here. And we want this to be applied to everything. So I'm going to make a layer on top we can turn off our sketch now we don't need it anymore i'm gonna three finger swipe down i'm gonna hit paste all right and i'm gonna turn this until it's at zero rotation and then we're just gonna put it right there in the top corner we're gonna stretch this out to cover up our complete canvas just like that let me make it a little bit bigger. All right, make sure everything's covered. Okay, and then we're going to change the opacity. Not opacity, I'm sorry. We're going to change the... the uh, what am, What's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word. The... All their little blending options right here. So let's see which one looks best. Uh, let me make this bigger so you can see all the little dots in there. So multiply. I think I like multiply. 
Well, that overlay might be good too. I think that overlay is good. I like that. So we're going to do it with overlay. And then now the, the pink color has changed a bit. So I want that a little bit darker. So I'm going to go down to my pink color here. And I'm going to go to the little I, the, the magic wand tool. And we're going to darken this up just a bit. So we can get back to our original. There we go. How about the saturation? We can take the saturation down a little bit. So it looks like it's kind of faded out a bit. I think that's good. Let's see what we look like now. Wow, I think it turned out really good. So I, I know this has been a long video, but you know, I, I hope that for the people who you know what? I see something I missed. Uh-oh. One more thing, guys. Sorry. Uh, we're going to go back to the yellow here again. The same Casper color. And it's supposed to be written Casper above him right here. So I I think I downloaded a special font for that. It's called Casper font. Add text. And actually, before I do that, I've got my canvas cocked to the side. I don't want that because it makes going to mess up the lettering. All right, so again, add text. We're going to type in all small letters, C-A-S-P-E-R, Casper. All right, we're going to select it. And the font that I used was Casper. I will include this font also. Casper Comic Solid. We're going to hit Done. This is going to go on top of the black layer. All right. And then we need to make this thing much smaller. And we're going to put Casper right there. Okay. And then it looks like there's some little motion lines too. So with our Inker Streamliner, we're going to. Okay. We can't draw on the letter layer, but we can start a new layer. So it looks like he's flying. There we go. Now we are finished. There we go. So we've got a recreation of a Casper comic book. Um, and you see these colors here. Can we darken those up a little bit? Yeah. So just a little bit darker. Saturation down a bit. So give it that old look. There we go, guys. I think I am happy with this um, recreation of a probably a 1950s Casper the Friendly Ghost comic. I hope this tutorial has helped you guys. I know it's long, um, but I'm hoping to appeal to the people who are really want to be artists and not for like the people who just like to watch art videos for the fun of it um, because they won't watch a whole video. Uh, but I'm hoping that the people who want to improve their art will watch the whole thing. So it is a bit longer. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, go check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel. Um, also, uh, you can download all of the stuff over there on Patreon also. And with that, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys next week for another Procreate Dreams or Procreate tutorial. Take care.